our loving Father, God Almighty, attests Pastor Dill's ministry with immediate signs, wonders, miracles, and healings as great multitudes throng to Jesus, praising Him, thanking Him, and loving Him, our Lord and Savior.
Oh 
Nothing in my hands I bring Simply to the cross I cling Naked come to thee for dress Helpless come to thee for grace Rock of ages cleft for me Let me hide myself in thee Jesus loves you God loves you God our Father and your Father loves you and in these times beloved people of God as we rejoice over Christmas the Holy Bible says this is the day the Lord has made we will rejoice and be glad in it so beloved ones as I humbly bring this word of God me and my dear precious wife Suhanti and our very precious one and only daughter Divina from our church at home we humbly bless you and ask the Lord Jesus our God our Savior to bless you on this Christmas day and every day because God came in flesh to save us therefore dear people of God from the Word of God I humbly ask the great Holy Spirit to bring the all-powerful word for Christmas and the Holy Spirit leads me to Revelations chapter 3 verse number 20 where Jesus says behold I stand at the door and knock and if any man hear my voice and open his door I will come in and I will sup with him and he will sup with me dear beloved people of God on this day as we all rejoice and celebrate Jesus loved us so much the Bible says on this day this Christmas day we rejoice 2,000 years ago God so loved the world he loved us while we were yet sinners he loved us Bible says Romans 5 verse 8 he so loved us God loved every one of us God still loves us always Jesus loves you God is our Father and he gave his only begotten Son Jesus Christ that whosoever whosoever no matter who we are believeth on him will never perish will not perish but have everlasting life God loved us he sent his only begotten son Jesus Christ that is out of the ordinary that God came in human form beloved it is beyond our human thinking God's wisdom is infinite we are little people his wisdom and his love is infinite beyond measure his power is beyond measure and such a mighty almighty all-loving all-powerful 
holy God sent his only begotten son in human form. God came in flesh. That's why we rejoice on this day. What a miracle. What an event that such a God who create all heavens and earth, he came in human form. And second, he was born in flesh in a virgin womb. What a miracle. It has never happened before. Only once it happened when God came in flesh. His name is Jesus Christ. He was born in the womb of a virgin girl. And this is a miracle beyond our human imagination because he's God. And the Bible says, with God, all things are possible. With man, nothing is possible. But with God, all things are possible. My loving, dear people of God, you may be facing situations such that no man is able to help you, nor can you. But God sent his son Jesus in a virgin womb. God came in flesh, beloved people of God, in a virgin womb. What a miracle, 2,000 years before in Bethlehem. He was born in Bethlehem, dear people of God. And that's why we rejoice, we rejoice, we rejoice. Such a mighty God came in human form, born in a virgin womb by the very power of God by the very power of the Holy Spirit of God, Jesus was conceived in the womb of his blessed Virgin Mother Mary at that time. And dear people of God, and when the message came to Mary and her husband Joseph, they had not come together. They were engaged to one another. They had not come together humanly, physically. And the message came to Mary and to Joseph that Jesus is the Savior. Beloved ones, he has come to save all mankind. All humanity, God came to save us. Look at his love. When we were in sin, when the whole world was in sin and in darkness, he came. When the shepherds were watching their flock in the night, angel came. And along with the angel, there was a praise, worship, team, choir from heaven. First time, beloved, heaven's choir came on this earth. Heaven's host of angels, holy angels, singing praises and glory to God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. So this is a third miracle on that day. First, God came in flesh, in human form, and God was born in human form in the womb of a virgin girl before she knew her husband Joseph physically in human form. And third, choir from heaven, praise choir from heaven came on into this earth. Oh, beloved, three miraculous things took place. And that's why we remember and rejoice. And the message came from heaven, God the Father, that Jesus Christ, his son, is the Savior. 
He has come to save all humanity. Joseph heard this message. Mary heard this message. And the shepherds in the flock, feeding the flock in the night, heard this message. We have a savior. And God came to be with us, to live with us. Furthermore, to live in us, God, Emmanuel, God with us. And in us, he loved us so much. Beloved, God just released all of him because God is love, the Bible says. He released all of him through his son, Jesus Christ. The love of God, the love of God as our father. He came to save all humanity dear people of God. And as we move to Luke's gospel, chapter 19, in the same breath of the Holy Spirit, Luke's gospel, chapter 19, dear, dear people of God, and we see here a wonderful incident that happened when Jesus was physically living on this earth. Today, he is risen from the dead. He died on the cross. He shed his blood. And he rose from the dead. He is seated at the right hand of the Father. Even to see that we are saved and to save us to the utmost until rapture in midair. When he comes as our bridegroom and thereafter in heaven with him. What a savior, what a joy it brings to us. We have God with us, God in us. And we have a savior to save us. This is a day of joy. This is a day of joy. That heaven's joy came into this earth. Heaven's peace came into this earth. Because Jesus is called the Prince of Peace. He has come to give you the peace that you are longing for in your personal life, in your family, in your future. Jesus said, my peace I give you, I live with you. Oh, he came to save us, beloved. He loves you. You have a savior today to save us from all our sins. And we have a savior who is going to live with us and lives with us and lives in us forever until rapture in midair with him and eternal in heaven with him in our father's mansions. What a joy on this Christmas. And that's why when angel came and told, Gabriel came and told Mary, the first word was fear not, fear not. The whole of heaven, God in human form, God is love. The Bible says he loved us first. He came to us first. Oh, beloved, he loves you no matter who you are. And we will see why he came in a few moments as the Holy Spirit, Spirit of God, reveals to us and reminds us and revives us fills us again with this truth and this great love. Angel said, fear not to Mary. Angel said, Gabriel said, fear not to Joseph. And angel said, fear not to the shepherds. Oh, when the perfect love of God, our Father, comes to us, when we receive that love, all fear will go away. Are you fearing the future? Are you fearing your health or your finance or your family? What is it, my dear children of God? The world by and large is in fear. But those who receive Jesus as their Savior, those who receive Jesus as their God and their Savior and their Lord, 
all fear will go away, even now. Even now. Jesus is knocking at our hearts, even now. Let us open our hearts wide. Let us open our hearts wide. He will come and be with us and in us through his Holy Spirit and fill our soul. He will fill our minds. Everything that feared you or scared you regarding your health or your future or your family or your children or your child will go away. As you hear this word, as you hear this living word, he is knocking at your door, Revelations 3.20. He wants to come and fill us even now at this moment with his word and with his spirit. Fill us over and over again. Fill my soul, Lord. Fill my spirit. Tell him now. Fill my body. All fear will go away. And beloved, and the angel told Mary, you have found favor with God. That's what's happening to us. Are you troubled today? Are you worried today? The Holy Spirit tells me to tell you, you and I have found favor with God because of Jesus Christ. Through Christ Jesus, we have favor with God. In, in a few moments, we will see and know and receive all this. Jesus, when he entered and passed through Jericho, Luke's Gospel, chapter 19, there was a man named Zacchaeus who was a chief among the tax collectors and he was a rich man and he sought to see Jesus whom he was and he could not for he was a short man very short in in his stature, or he was not tall enough, and there was always a crowd with Jesus following him, dear people of God. So he ran before and climbed onto a sycamore tree to see Jesus, for Jesus was to pass that way. And when Jesus came to that place, he looked up and saw him and said unto him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for today I must abide in your home, in your house. Today, beloved, and the Bible says, he made haste, Zacchaeus made haste and came down, and received him joyfully. Oh, beloved, we will just pause there for a while. Look at this man. He was rich. He had enough money, enough wealth. Probably he would have thought for some time he had all the future in his hand. That is the biggest mistake the world makes, we all make. When we have money and riches and every comfort, we, we feel we have the whole future in us. We are wrong, dear people of God. Unless Jesus Christ comes into our lives, unless Jesus has us, unless Jesus takes over our life and is the Lord and God and Savior of our life, unless we surrender to him, and we are held by him. Oh, beloved, there is really no future good and everlasting. Beloved people of God, today rejoice. This man, though he had all the riches, he had a big job, very responsible, respectable job, a good social status. But still, if you read this whole passage, there was an inner uneasiness inside. He had no peace inside. Holy Spirit 
will tell you as you read this passage again and again. He had no peace inside. Though he had all the money, he had a good position. And he could, he could have thought, it's all right, I have everything in the future. No. He had no peace inside. He had no joy inside. There was an inner turmoil inside which no one knew, which no one knew. He was not satisfied at all with life. Dear people of God, and he wanted to see Jesus because probably he had heard about Jesus, the love of Jesus. And here is Jesus walking with sinners, talking with them, forgiving them, giving them joy and peace in life, healing their bodies and raising the dead, healing the bodies of people, touching the lepers, healing them, giving them joy and peace. Oh, multitudes were thronging Jesus. This peace and joy he did not have. He was a short man. So he thought, I must make an effort. Today, beloved, Jesus is knocking at the hearts of every one of us. He wants us to make an extra effort and open our hearts wide and say, Lord, I submit all to you. I surrender my whole life again and again to you. You may be saved. You may be born again. You may be filled in the Holy Spirit. You may be a mighty man or woman of God. Blessed are you. But let us recommit our life, rededicate our life, resubmit our life and be saved, saved and saved all the time. Oh, let Jesus come and cleanse our innermost person, our innermost being. As we tell Jesus, Lord, come and see, Lord, this day, if there is anything unrighteous, wrong, sinful in my life, my thoughts, my actions, my words, come, Lord. You may be saved. We may be saved. We are all sinners anyway. We all make mistakes, all of us. Today, this joyful day, let the Holy Spirit examine ourselves. Come, Lord, fill me. Emmanuel, fill me. God in flesh, come, Lord. Come, Jesus. He is risen, seated at the right hand of the Father. Oh, he has sent his Spirit to be with us and lead us. Tell Jesus to come wherever you are. He loves you. He loves you. Jesus came to that place. This man made an effort. Today, what is of an effort? Today, repenting, repenting and saying, Lord, I need you. I need you. I need you to come and fill me and save me, cleanse me, forgive me. This is what I ask for Christmas. Oh, I want a clean heart and a new spirit inside me. Cleanse me. Make me like you, Jesus. Make me like you. You may have so many needs in life. You may have so many difficult situations in life. Fear not. You have favor with Jesus today. You have favor with God when you receive Jesus. You have favor with God when you come and open your heart to Jesus today. You have favor with God Almighty. Rejoice. He is with you. He is Emmanuel. Dear people of God, and Jesus saw him on top of that tree, eagerly waiting to see Jesus. Are you eagerly waiting to receive Jesus? Maybe for your first time. Maybe, Lord, come and save me, live in me. Come and save me, live in me. Or maybe you may have done this many times. Do it now, this day. This is the word for all of us. Paul said it's a faithful saying that God sent his son Jesus to forgive our sins, 
to save all sinners of whom I am the chief. Paul, the great apostle said, who are we? Oh, let Jesus save us over and over again and keep us saved, preserve us saved. That's why he rose from the dead. Oh, and went to the Father, sat at the right hand of the Father to save us to the utmost. Hebrews 7, 25. Let us never say, I have no sin in me. No, we all have sinned. First John, first chapter, verse 7, 8, 9. He came to save us. He is still the Savior forever. Beloved, oh, Jesus is here today. He loves you. Jesus said, Zacchaeus, come down. Make haste quickly. He is knocking at your door. Open oh, our hearts wide and say, come Lord, save my innermost being. Cleanse my innermost being. I am a sinner. Let us tell him now itself. And save my soul. Live in me, Lord. Save my spirit, my inner man. Even save my body as I submit to you, surrender to you as a living sacrifice to you, Lord. My body, tell him he loves you, loves you, loves you. And dear people of God, when you tell him you become the child of God, you become the child. God now comes to you as the father. You become his child. What a relationship. What a oneness. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Let us recommit and reaffirm the oneness with Jesus today and become the children of God. Oh, you may be born again. Blessed are you. You must be born again. But let us recommit ourselves, rededicate ourselves, me and all of us, and say, Lord, I am your child. I want to be your child forever. You are my father, Abba, father. All fear will go away. We have favor, favor with God, our father. Romans 8 verse 15. Oh, my loving child, he will take care of everything for you and for me. He loves you, loves you, loves you. Rejoice this Christmas. But don't let this pass away just like that. He's knocking at our doors. If any man hears my voice and opens his door, I will come in and I will sup with him. He will sup with me. Jesus told Zacchaeus, come, I must come to your house today. I want to stay in your house. I want to abide in your house. Oh, I want to sup with you. And you sup with me. See, these both words, how they blend as one. He told Zacchaeus, make haste, come down. I must, today I must abide in thy house. Today if you hear this word, this voice, don't postpone it. Don't harden your heart. Come down. Come down means let us humble ourselves. Let us humble ourselves. Yes, Lord. See if there be anything unrighteous, wicked, sinful in my life. Let us repent. He will come. He came to save us. Save sinners like me and all of us. He is still the Savior. He will live in us. Oh, he will live in us. He will guide us and lead us. He is the light of the world. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God and the word was God. And this word became flesh, the Bible says. That's the Christmas miracle. John 1, 1, John 1, 14. And in him was life and is life. And this life is a light unto all. Oh, this world is dark and dark because of the sins. Because of the sins. He came to shine his holy light to us. Beloved, he is shining his holy light into our soul, our spirit. Let him cleanse us. See, Lord, any wicked unrighteousness in us. Cleanse me, Lord. Let his light shine in us. Oh, 
people living in darkness saw a great light. The prophet Isaiah said regarding the birth of Jesus. Isaiah 9 verse 2. John 8 verse 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me will not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. We need the light of life in us. We need Jesus in us, in this dark world. Beloved, he loves you, he loves you, he loves you. When the light comes, all darkness will go away. When the perfect love comes and fills us, all fear will go away. When the life of Jesus fills us, all death goes away. Oh, beloved, when Jesus fills us, all disease and sicknesses will go away. He is here today. When Jesus cleanses us, all our sins are washed away. He's, and this man came down fast, the Bible says, and he received him joyfully. This is what he was waiting for. Lord, I want all my sins to be washed away. Even the very nature of sin. Even the very authority of sin. And the consequences of sin. Wash away, Lord, from me. Live in me. And lead me, Holy Spirit. Lead me, Jesus. So that I will never sin again. Never want to sin again. Tell him today, that's the true child of the heavenly Father, almighty God. He loves you. Let this Christmas be that joy that my Savior lives in me, forgives me and cleanses me and saves me forever with life victorious on this earth, triumphant on this earth, with peace, joy, and eternal in heaven with him forever. Oh, your names will be written in the Lamb's book of life. Luke 10, 20, right now on this Christmas day. Rejoice, rejoice. Long life of abundance is granted to us. Bible says, Jesus said, I have come that you shall have life. We shall have life and have it in abundance. John 10, 10. Jesus said, with long life, I will satisfy you. He told us. And show you my salvation. Psalm 91, 16. Rejoice. Why are you in fear? Be filled again. Be filled again. Recommit. Recommit your life. Don't think of your problems and your difficulties. When Jesus takes over again and again. And fills you and lives in you. Through his Holy Spirit over and over again. Filling us. Our soul. Cleansing us. Washing us. Don't ever say I'm fine. I don't sin. No. He goes into every dark areas of our life. He is the light of life. He is the light that came from heaven to remove every darkness and to lead us on this earth. Oh, beloved, victoriously, triumphantly, pleasing him. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of the great miracle in your life and my life. In every area, he will wipe all your tears. You have found a favor, favor with God, all of us. When we receive Jesus joyfully, joyfully. See, Zacchaeus received him joyfully. Oh, and Jesus said, when I come in, I will sup with you. What does that mean? Revelations 3.20 I will sup with you. When you receive him today on this Christmas day, no matter who you are, no matter in what situation you are, you may feel lonely, rejected, left out, discarded, forgotten. That's the dark world. Thus, you may be in temptation, addiction, sinful habits, bound by the prince of this world, 2 Corinthians 4.4. 4. Some of us are blinded by the darkness of this world, caused by the defeated devil. Oh, the Bible says Jesus, Son of God, was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. 
That's why Jesus died on the cross. Beloved, the Bible says without shedding of blood, there is no forgiveness of sin. That is why God came in flesh. God said without shedding of holy blood, holy blood, there is no forgiveness or removal or remission of sins. Who has holy blood? Who has lived a life without sin? No one, no one. Only Jesus who came from heaven, who came from heaven, God in flesh. He came from heaven, oh, through the seed of Abraham. But he is from heaven, God in flesh. John 16, verse 27, 28. Oh, he said, I am from above. He is God who came in flesh. John 1, 1, John 1, 14, John 8, 51. He came from heaven in human form. Oh, what a miracle to forgive us, cleanse us, save us, and to live with us and live in us through his Holy Spirit. Today, oh, my beloved, you may have so many needs in prayer, tears, problems, difficulties. When he is your father and you are his child, all things will be added unto you. Seek him first. Zacchaeus wanted him first. He was eager to see him, to know who he is, what kind of a man he is, what people say about him. He had all, Zacchaeus had all the wealth and riches, a good job and everything, but he was lonely. He was rejected. Everyone hated him. Everyone hated him. He was a discarded man, lonely man. Money and silver and gold and people cannot satisfy you and give you the peace and the joy and the victory on this earth and life in heaven. Never. Only Jesus Christ who came from heaven, God in flesh. He shed his holy blood on that cross for us. He died on our place. We were sinners and we are. We deserved death. We deserved punishment. We deserved judgment. We deserved hell. Jesus took it on himself. God put it on himself, on Jesus. Read Isaiah 53. He hung on the cross, the Lamb of God, without sin, but took our sins on him. He became our curse. He became our sin. He became the death. He became the punishment, our punishment on him. He justified us. He took our place on the cross. Though he had no sin, no sin, he became sin because of our sins. That's why God came in flesh to save us. He saved us from eternal death. He saved us from going to hell. He saved us from punishment. He saved us from condemnation. He saved us from judgment. He saved us from death. He saved us from curse. He saved us from all works of hell. He saved us from the authority of death and sin and Satan and curse and defeated the authority of Satan over our lives. He delivered us from darkness into his light, the Bible says. He is the light that came from heaven to lighten to our lives, to remove the darkness within us. Beloved, do you realize, begin to thank him and praise him and commit your life again and again to him. Let him fill us, let him fill all of us this Christmas day. Oh, that is favor, favor from the Father today. Fear not. Oh, seek him first as your Savior, as your God, as your Lord. Seek him. See how Zacchaeus wanted him to come. Jesus said, come down, Zacchaeus. I want to be in your house. He wants, Jesus wants to come into our hearts, our soul, our bodies through the Holy Spirit and live in us. Oh, beloved, then we will live, our souls will live, our spirits will live, even our bodies will live. Hallelujah. Jesus is risen from the dead. He has defeated Satan and sin 
and death and curse and all works of hell and disease. He is risen with victory, triumph. He rose, beloved, delivering us from darkness into his marvelous light. Oh, and he is ascended to the right hand of the Father with his body, holy body, and sat at the right hand of the Father. Even today as our interceding high priest, our advocate, our mediator at the right hand of the Father. He lives, Jesus said, because I live, you shall live also. The prince of this world is defeated. Satan is defeated by the blood of Jesus shed for us by his death on the cross and his resurrection with his body. Jesus is risen, risen, risen. He is risen with his body. That's why the victory is given to us. Triumph is given to us on this earth until rapture and eternal. 1 Corinthians 15, 57, Psalm 92, 4, 2 Corinthians 2, 14. Rejoice this Christmas day. You don't have to be a slave to sin. You don't have to be a slave to addiction. You don't have to be a slave to any weakness. Come. All your fear will go. All your sorrow will go. All your tears will be wiped away. You have favor, favor from the Father for your family, for your child, for your children, for your job, for your future, all of us until rapture with Jesus in midair. He is our coming bridegroom and thereafter in heaven in our Father's mansions. Oh, John 14, verse 2 and 3, come. You must be saved. Jesus is calling you. Jesus is inviting you. He has accepted you. Jesus has accepted you. Jesus has received you in his heart. God has received every one of us in his heart because of the blood, the blood of Jesus. We went in our own way. We went in our own way of thinking, our own way of life. We went astray. Now God the Father is calling us back showing us the way back to him through Christ Jesus and his blood and his resurrection. And Jesus sent the Holy Spirit into us when he went to the Father, risen from the dead with his body. He sent the Holy Spirit, the spirit of the resurrected Jesus to live in us. Oh, may the sweet Holy Spirit, the power of God who raised Jesus from the dead and Come and fill us today. Fill us, Lord. Jesus said, when the Holy Spirit fills you and when you submit and submit and resubmit, recommit to him, I and my Father will come and live in you. John 14, 23. Me and my Father will come and make our abode in you. Oh, through his spirit, his presence, his presence, his power, his power, his life, his life, his peace, his joy, his holiness. Oh, will be in us, living in us. Jesus will never leave us nor forsake us. When he rose from the dead, defeating Satan and death and sin and curse and hell, he said, all power in heaven and earth is given unto me. Jesus said, the risen Savior with his body. He said, I will never leave you, never forsake you. I go to my Father. I am with you always until rapture and eternal with us all in heaven. Rejoice, rejoice. All your fear is over. May the Lord Jesus fill you today. Receive him as Zacchaeus received him joyfully. Let us receive him joyfully. Come and fill us again, Lord. Fill us again. Cleanse us with your blood. Save us with your blood. Live in us, Lord. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Lead us, Holy Spirit. Jesus said, if any man follows me, he will not walk in darkness. We will have the light of life. John 8, 12. Jesus is the light who came from heaven. He is from heaven. God in flesh. Oh, believe today. Receive, receive. He loves you. He is your father. God is your father. He wipes all your tears, all your pain, all your agony. is going away as you receive this word. As you recommit, resubmit your lives. All of us, our tears and pain and sorrow is going away. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of recommitment. This is the day of recommitment, re-salvation. Today, receive, receive, receive. Zacchaeus received him joyfully. 
Let us all receive him joyfully. The joy of heaven is filling us. The joy of heaven is filling us, all of us. This is what the angels told the shepherds on that day. Jesus is doing it for us even now. His blood, his blood, his blood is cleansing us, cleansing us, cleansing us. And Zacchaeus said, he got up and said, Today I give all what I have taken unrighteously, unlawfully from people. He was a tax collector. I give it all. I give fourfold. I give it all. What is the meaning? That means I have a new heart today. I have a new spirit within me. I have a new heart within me. I am a new person. I am not the old man, that sinful man, that proud man, or that deceitful man. No, I am new. All the sin and deceitfulness and pride, all has gone away. Every unholiness is all gone away. I have a new heart. God, Jesus, Jesus has given me a new heart and a new spirit within me. This is what David said, create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me, inside of me. All your prayer requests will be answered. All your tears will be wiped away. You have found favor with Jesus today, any one of you. Receive him joyfully. Receive him joyfully. Seek him first. Seek him first like Zacchaeus. And all other things will be added unto us. Matthew 6, 33. Everything you need, your tears will be wiped away in every area of your life. What a joy came to Zacchaeus. What a joy and inner joy and inner peace and inner victory and inner satisfaction and inner satisfaction. It, it is yours and mine today and forever. What a joy, what a joy. Oh, beloved ones, we just rejoice, rejoice and rejoice. And Jesus said, see these words, this day is salvation come to this house, to this house. It could be your life, your home, your family, your personal life. In so much as he is also the son of Abraham. God makes us his children. Oh, through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus. We come into the lineage of Abraham. Into the seed of Abraham. Through the blood of Jesus. Through the blood that was shed for us on that cross. Holy blood. Holy blood. The only blood. Only blood saves all sinners and forgives all sinners. God says, I won't even remember your sins. I won't even remember your sins. God says, he's the father. It's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus at Bethlehem. At Bethlehem, God came in flesh. His life was contained in the body of Jesus. Oh, born holy, he was born sinless, holy, lived holy, died holy without any sin, but taking all our sins on him, he became sin. He had no sin. He defeated sin and the source of sin, Satan, and the result of sin, death and curse and disease and all darkness rose from the dead. With his body glorious today, ascended at to the right hand of the Father. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Through the blood of Jesus, we become the child of God. True child. God is our Father. And Jesus said, For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. That's Christmas. To seek you. To come after you. And call you, come my child, come back, come back my child, come back my son, come back my daughter. He's calling us, oh, to come back, not to walk in our own ways, in our own thinking. We are wrong, but when Jesus lives in us, even he takes over our lives through his Holy Spirit and leads us and leads us. We will not walk in darkness, Romans 8, 12. 
we will walk always in the light. There may be darkness everywhere, but for us it will be light. There may be darkness anywhere, but for us, Christ in us, Jesus living in us, filling us, filling us, saving us, cleansing us, we will always walk in light on this earth, victorious, long, abundant, a life with salvation, well-satisfied, overflowing triumph, life until rapture in midday with Jesus as he comes as bridegroom, as we live on this earth, taken up in air, while we practically live on this earth, taken up in midair, 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, 17, 18, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, Philippians 1, 6. Oh, all of us, me and my precious family, my daughter and family, our generation, your family, your children, your generation, or in whatever way you are, all of us, as the bride of Jesus, as the true, true, true bride of Jesus. What a joy. And thereafter in heaven with Jesus, in our Father's mansions. John 14, 2, 3, Luke 10, 20, our names in the Lamb's book of life, in the glory of Jesus, Jude 24, 25, our citizenship forever in heaven, Philippians 3, 20. Rejoice, John 14, 2, 3, let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. John 14, 1. We have favor with God through Christ Jesus, our Savior, our Lord, His blood, His death, His resurrection, ascension to the right hand of the Father. He is our bridegroom coming. Let us be the true child and the true bride. True child and the true bride. He came to seek and save that which was lost. We were and we are the lost people. But he is saving us even now. He is saving us even now. Submit to him. Surrender to him. Recommit. Resubmit to him and him alone today. This is the day of salvation. This is the day of life and life in abundance. This is the day of victory and triumph. This is the day you have favor with God. Hallelujah, as he, you are his child, he is your father. This is the day of peace and joy. Oh, everlasting and everlasting life forever until rapture and eternal. This is the day all your tears will be wiped away. No more sins, no more sins. This is the day you are his true child and true bride. All of us, all of us, myself, all of us. Come, come. Come, take over, take over. Tell him today, tell him today. Don't waste this moment. Don't neglect this moment. This is important. This is powerful to all of us. I'm going to pray for you. Going to pray for you. Jesus loves you. Before I pray, going to give you sufficient time today. Sufficient time today to receive Jesus joyfully like Zacchaeus, to receive Jesus joyfully into your life, into your heart, into your mind, into your soul, into even your body, Holy Spirit, to fill your body, to fill your soul, your spirit. Receive him. Behold, I stand at the door and knock. If any man opens his heart, I will come and sup with him, and he will sup with me. Oh, Jesus will take away all your burdens, all your sorrow, your death, your sin, and all your worry, your failures, everything. And he, that's what he said, I will sup with you. Then he said, you will sup with him. You can take the peace from Jesus. You can take the joy from Jesus. You can take the life in abundance from Jesus. You can take the life victorious from Jesus. You can take the favor from heaven, from God Almighty, from Jesus. You can take the eternal life from Jesus. You can live in Jesus. Oh, you can take every victory, triumph you need. Oh, Jesus suffers with you. You suffer with him. Revelations 3.20. Oh, this is the day the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Blessed are you. Receive Jesus joyfully, joyfully, joyfully now. All of us, all of us. So I'm going to give you a few quiet moments.
very powerful moments, miracle moments for all of us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Jesus loves you. Beloved people of God, we all received, heard and received the powerful living word through the Holy Spirit, all of us. And today is that day. We rejoice. God came in flesh. And dear ones, now we are going to share the Lord's table together and after that I will be praying for you and the Lord will do great miracles, great things in your life. Receive him joyfully like Zacchaeus did. Receive him over and over again to cleanse us, to remove every darkness from our lives and make us his true child, his true bride on this earth until rapture and eternal all of us. And now I'm going to do the Lord's table with you all. And I will read Matthew's Gospel, 26th chapter, verse 26. And as they were eating, Jesus took bread and blessed it and broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, Take, eat, this is my body. And he took the cup and gave thanks and gave it to the disciples saying drink ye 
all of it. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. But I say unto you, I will not henceforth drink of this wine until that day when I drink it with you new in my Father's kingdom. And when they had sung a hymn, they went to the Mount of Olives. Beloved, God came to shed his blood as a man on this earth, holy son of man, holy son of God. And when he shed his blood, died and rose from the dead, defeating sin and Satan and death and curse and all works of hell. He made a covenant with us. When he made us his children, he made a covenant with us. When he made us his bride and he's still making us his true bride, true bride. Oh, he made a covenant with us. Hallelujah. Oh, beloved ones. And now this covenant, this new covenant of his blood, his death, his resurrection is our life, our victory, our triumph, our long life of abundance on this earth. And till rapture with our child's generation, your children's generation, or in whatever way you are, and thereafter in heaven, in our Father's mansions, with Jesus, our names written in the Lamb's book of life. That's the new covenant. We become his children, God our Father, and we are made his true bride, the bride of Jesus. Oh, beloved, every moment, every moment, and we are going to take part. This is that oneness, with Christ Jesus, oneness with the Father, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, it's all his love, his love, his compassion, his mercy. He loves you, he loves you, he loves you. Jesus took the bread. He broke it and gave it to the disciples and said, take, Eat, this is my body that's broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let us do it in oneness. Thank you, Jesus. The oneness of Jesus. His body was broken for beaten, battered, he was betrayed, he was bruised for our sins, our iniquities, to give us life, forgiveness, pardon, salvation, victory on this earth until rapture and eternal in heaven with Jesus to live forever in our Father's mansions. By the stripes of Jesus, by the stripes in his body, we are healed, we are healed. Our soul is healed. Our spirit is healed, our body is healed. Hallelujah. Our life, our future, our eternity is all made well and made victorious, eternal. Oh, we are healed by his stripes. In the like manner, he took the cup, gave thanks to the Father, and gave it to his disciples and said, Drink ye all of it. This is my blood of the new covenant. Do this in remembrance of me. And he said, Henceforth I will not drink of this fruit of the wine until I drink it new with you in my Father's kingdom. As we take this fruit of the wine, we rejoice and remember and we appropriate the shed blood of Jesus the shed blood of Jesus into our soul, our spirit, into our life, everywhere. Thank you, Jesus. Because Jesus lives, we shall live also. He is risen. He is risen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Shall we take this in praise us and gratitude to the Lord Jesus.
loves you. Rejoice. You are his child now. You are his bride, all of us, all of us. And this new covenant is in us. Hallelujah. Oh, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is rejoicing. Now, I will be praying for you. As we have recommitted, resubmitted, and received Jesus joyfully into our lives, our hearts, our soul, our even our bodies, the Holy Spirit has come. Even those who have done it for the first time, blessed are you. Our names are written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Oh, life eternal is assured, lifelong, victorious, triumphant, holy, pleasing to Jesus as his true child, the true bride is now given to us now. What a joy, what a peace on this earth. Oh, the light of Jesus is shining in us. Thank you, Jesus. All darkness gone away. Thank you, Jesus. Tears wiped away. I'm going to pray now. I'm going to ask, loving Father, Abba Father, in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, I come to you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You came in flesh. You died. You rose from the dead. You shed your holy blood. Took our place on the cross and saved us, saved us, saved us, redeemed us, redeemed us, redeemed us. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, and you rose from the dead, ascended to the right hand of the Father, even today saving us to the utmost. We have received you joyfully, 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 Lord, your blood cleansing us, cleansing us, saving us even now. Thank you, Jesus. Holy Father, your peace, your joy and victory and triumph and life in eternal has come into us, overflowing in us as we obeyed you, as we obeyed you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. This is the day of obedience. This is the day of obedience. You obeyed your Father, even at your birth, at your death, at the cross. You obeyed the Father. You rose from the dead. Same Lord, because you live, we shall live also. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Your hand is upon everyone. As the power of the Holy Spirit overshadowed that blessed girl, Mother Mary, your power is overshadowing every one of us. Holy Spirit, come God, come and fill us over and over again. Thank you, Jesus, with your peace, with your joy, with your comfort, comfort, comfort. Hallelujah, with your reassurance. Your faith, your faith in us, your faith in us, your faith in us. Thank you, Jesus. You are giving your faith to us. You are giving your victory to us. You are giving your triumph to us. You are giving your holy, holy character to us, your holy nature to us. As you come and live in us, your holy power in us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Your holy resurrected, resurrected power in us. Your resurrected life in us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You are healing your children. You are healing your children in their mind. Every, every. Jesus, 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 as your life comes, as your resurrected power comes, you are delivering them from every defeated fear, from every defeated tension. You are delivering them from every defeated sin and every defeated hold of sin and addiction. You are forgiving them, cleansing them, comforting them, saving them as your child, as your child, as your child of our Father. Your compassion, your compassion, your compassion, your compassion, your compassion is filling them. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are healing them, healing them mentally, emotionally, inside, in, your, in their bodies, everywhere. Cyril, Cyril, Jesus is healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are healing every intestinal diseases. You are healing every, every blood-related diseases. You are healing every defeated diseases in the lungs, in the respiratory organs. You are healing every defeated ailment in their blood, in their blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are healing every defeated ailment in their brains, in their nerves, in their senses. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You are healing every defeated ailment in their heart, in their liver. 
Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Your Holy Spirit, you are taking over every cell of their body, quickening, quickening every cell of their body. Romans 8, 11, and by the stripes of Jesus, risen, risen, they are healed, they are healed. Thank you, Timothy, you are healed, healed, healed. Thank you, Jesus. Every indigestion and stomach ailments are coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Every defeated fear, defeated fear is coming out. Every defeated sorrow is coming out. Thank you, Jesus. Every work of the defeated enemy is destroyed. 1 John 3, 8. Thank you, Jesus. John 10, 10. Life, life, life is filling their hearts. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Everywhere, everywhere, every defeated cancer, diseases, tumors, AIDS are leaving. Every defeated ailment in their blood is leaving. Every wound is dried in Jesus' name. Every defeated throat pains and <coughs> tonsillitis are healed, healed, healed. Thank you, Jesus. Every defeated headaches and fevers are going away. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. You are healing them, healing them, healing them. Every defeated skin ailments are leaving. Skin ailments are leaving. Every <coughs> dirty defeated back pains are leaving. Every dirty, defeated, bone injuries are healed. Every defeated paralysis leaves. Every defeated blindness leaves. Every defeated deafness leaves. Every defeated dumbness leaves. Every defeated fits leaves. Every defeated autism and imbalances in the senses leaves. Every defeated setbacks in the immune systems are leaving. Immune systems are rising, rising. Every defeated ailments in any organ of the body is healed by the stripes of Jesus, by the stripes of Jesus. Every defeated mental agony, mental agony and unwanted fear is leaving. Every defeated death and every defeated curse is destroyed. 1 John 3, 8, 1 Peter 3, 22. Thank you, Jesus. Galatians 3, verse 13 and 14. Thank you, Jesus. You are risen. You are risen. Your blood flows into every womb, into every organ of their bodies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you everywhere. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. You are baptizing them in your blood. Hallelujah. In your resurrected power. Thank you, Jesus. In your resurrected life. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Claudia. Claudia, receive, receive the healing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Every disease, every mental agony, every sin is washed away. Thank you, Jesus. Never to sin again. Never to sin again. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. As they receive you joyfully, joyfully. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Moses, Moses, receive, receive, receive. Thank you, Jesus. Life, life in abundance. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, your hand upon everyone, every loneliness, every depression is leaving, every rejection is leaving, your love, your love, your love, your love, your compassion is filling them, your holiness, your holiness, your holiness is filling us, every perfectness of Jesus is filling. Thank you, Jesus, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. You are embracing your children and giving them your favor, your favor in every area, every area, your favor, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, God who came in flesh on this Christmas day and forever until rapture and eternal. Amen, amen, amen. Beloved people of God, I give you just a few seconds to examine yourself. See what the Lord has done for you today, the resurrected Savior, God who came in flesh in Bethlehem, in Bethlehem. Oh, the, in that manger, that same Jesus risen from the dead, he's God Almighty seated on the throne in heaven, coming as the bridegroom soon. Check yourself, check your body, do something you couldn't do. Move your body, run, walk, bend down, check yourself. What you couldn't do, you will do now. Check your eyes, check your ears, check any organ of your body. Even mental agony, sorrow would have gone. A new faith, a new faith, a new joy, a new hope, a new hope, a new hope, a living, living, living hope. A peace and joy would have filled you. You feel, feel new and fresh in your soul, in your spirit, in your inner man, that you belong to Jesus, you belong to the Father God. You are his child, you are his bride. No more fear, no more fear. 
No more sin, no more tendency to sin, gone. You are free to rejoice. Oh, He loves you, loves you, loves you. Oh, beloved people of God, write to us your testimonies, praise reports. Send us your praise reports, testimonies. You can reach us through very many means. Send us your prayer requests, your prayer requests. We will pray with tears of compassion of Jesus, of Jesus, His compassion, His love. It's God who came. No man saves us, Jesus saves us, God who came in flesh. He came to seek and save the lost. Thank you, Jesus. We are saved, saved, saved. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. He wipes all your tears. All your tears are wiped away. You have found favor, favor. Rejoice. I'm going to ask Jesus to bless you once again. Me and my precious dear wife, Swanti, and our precious dear one and only daughter, Divina, as a family, we ask Jesus to bless you and, the, and to pour his love on every one of you so that we all become like Jesus, true children, true bride. And I am so rejoicing in my home, so rejoicing with my precious dear wife Swanti and our dear precious one and only daughter Divina this Christmas and of course in the coming years until rapture. It's all Jesus, Jesus and his Holy Spirit and our heavenly Father. He loves you, loves you. It's going to bless you. It's going to bless you. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. May the love of God the Father and the great grace of God the Son, Jesus, born in flesh in Bethlehem, died, shed blood on the cross, rose from the dead, ascended, seated at the right hand of the Father, our Lord, our Savior, our God, and the great power and the life of God through His Holy Spirit and His love be with us all, within us all, around us all, upon us all, ahead of us all, in the rear of us all, now and forever. And when Jesus Christ, the Son of God, our bridegroom, comes in midair and raptures us up, snatches us up as we practically, physically live on this earth in these long more years, serving Him, following Him faithfully, fearfully, fervently, fruitfully and fully, in the light of Jesus, in the light of Jesus. Oh, to be caught up in midair with our child's generation, your children's generation, all of us, or in whatever way you are, like Enoch and Elijah, as the true bride, true bride, true child of Jesus. 1 Thessalonians 4, 15, 17, 18, 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52, Philippians 1, 6. Thank you, Jesus, caught up in midair with Jesus. Thereafter, Jesus taking us into heaven to live, rejoice, reign with Him. John 14, 2, 3, with rewards, crowns, marriage, suffer the Lamb. Our families, our generations, forever and ever. Thank you, Jesus. John 14, 2, 3, Luke 10, 20. Thank you, Lord. Jude 24, 25. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen, amen, amen. Jesus loves you, loves you, loves you. A blessed, blessed Christ Jesus filled Christmas. A blessed Christ Jesus filled Christmas. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Amen, amen, amen. Dr. Dilkumar, this amazing, amazing testimony. She came here tonight with today, I should say, with a walker. But today, she, right now, she's walking without the walker. She came with multiple cirrhosis. You don't need that anymore. You don't need that. You don't need that anymore. <laughs> Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Lift your hands to Jesus. Yeah.